Topsy-turvy best describes June in Denver's real estate market, and much like the brain drain roller coaster that's just down the street at Elitch's, our current market has buyers, sellers, and their agents feeling a bit exhausted. Well, happy 4th of July weekend, and welcome to this month's market update, brought to you from 32nd Avenue in the Highlands neighborhood, where in just one hour, the annual bike parade is set to begin. So wherever you are today, by the time this video makes it to your inbox, I hope you will have had a joyful and very fun 4th of July. As I mentioned, the June market was wildly unpredictable with varied patterns that depended heavily on specific properties, zip codes, and price ranges. Now, active listings rose 11.52% month over month and rose 68% from this time last year. That is a significant number. So if you think you are seeing more for sale signs going up, you are right. Now, most notably, active listings today are the highest they've been in the last several years, showcasing that inventory is indeed climbing. And while closed sales are down 17%, our average price is actually up 3.86% from last year. Now, of course, the main culprit in all of this continues to be those higher, sticky interest rates. But many sellers are tired of sitting on the sidelines and are very eager to make that move they've been dreaming of, which is what is pushing our inventory's levels even higher. So while some homes do leave the market very quickly with multiple offers, many more sit for days, weeks, or even months before finding a buyer. Sellers, if you are motivated and need to sell quickly, it is absolutely imperative your home presents as beautifully as possible with up-to-date systems and no deferred maintenance and that your price is more conservative to attract the most amount of buyers. Then you should be engaging in negotiations with those buyers because if you don't, you might be waiting quite a bit longer for your perfect buyer avatar to come along. Buyers are very weary of the breakneck speed of the market since 2020, and they are taking their time. I mean, believe me, they are taking their time and they are eager to negotiate even when a home is brand new to the market. I hate to tell you sellers, but this is not 2021 anymore. And as I just mentioned, real estate sales vary widely depending on the type of home you're selling, your neighborhood, and your price range. There is no one size fits all in the Denver market in 2024. And please do listen to your agent. She really does have your best interests at heart. Now buyers, congratulations as you actually have a seat at the negotiating table for the first time in a long time. And for most of you, I'm seeing more choices than you have had in a very long time. It is so important that you are paired with an excellent lender who can help you navigate the many creative lending products on the market right now to help buy down your interest rate and get you into the home of your dreams. So let's talk because I do know a few. Now, as always, please scroll down for all the stats and the numbers, then call me to talk through what is happening in your specific part of town. It's always a joy to help you love where you live, and I hope you have a fabulous July.